Hi. Hey, how are you all? Hope everybody's well. Tonight we're going to be doing um, a bit of a slow flow with um, some retor restorative, restorative, some of a few restorative postures at the um, the end of our practice to help ground the body. And I was thinking tonight we'll really focus on weaving um, the element of balance, how we can create balance within the body when at times the body may be, um, you know, really, really active and other times it could be really, really lethargic. So if we can bring a little bit of both of those into our, our being, um, we'll have some, some balance. So we'll move um, with thought tonight and be really aware of um, and how the body wants to move when we focus on the breath. Um, if at any time you would like to just take a break, go right ahead, please, you know, come into child's pose or find a seated position that suits you. Um, also, if you'd like to use any props, you can grab those, um, bricks, straps. If you don't have um, either one of those, you can always grab a few books um, to replace the blocks. And you can certainly grab a bell or a towel, or I always say this, even a dog leash for a strap. Okay, so we'll get started tonight actually in child's pose. So you'll want to go to your mat if you're not already there kneeling, draw the hips back to the heels and extend the arms forward really long and stretch the fingers. And go ahead and bring your forehead to something, whether it's the floor or a brick, or like I said before, um, a book. Okay, and I will meet you there. So our knees are apart here and the big toes come toward one another. And if at any time your knees are uncomfortable in this position, you can lift your hips off of the heels and draw them more upright. Take a few deep breaths while you're here just to drop into the body and to get a sense of how you're feeling. Um, notice any emotions that may come up, any sensations within the body. And instead of clinging to those, let's just put some space around them and let them be, okay? All right, a few more breaths here. Feel the whole back of the body expand, especially in the middle of the spine and the space around it. Take another deep breath. And then slowly go ahead and lift your head and look at your thumbs. Let's walk the hands over toward the right side of your mat. You'll exaggerate the stretch with your left arm. And then notice your left hip. If the left hip is moving forward, hug it back a little bit and fold. Just let the body drop in here. You can always rest your right elbow to the ground. So tune in, see what your body needs tonight. Go ahead and walk the hands straight and then all the way over toward your left side, exaggerating the stretch with your right arm. Notice the right hip, hug it back if it's creeping forward. Feeling a stretch from the outer hip all the way up through the ribs and into the arm. We'll go ahead and walk the hands back to center and then slowly shift the body weight forward, coming into a kneeling plank. So here, I'm not in a tabletop position. My hips are actually ahead of my knees. Spread the fingers really wide. Draw the shoulders up and down your back. We'll turn the belly, draw the navel in toward the spine, and keep the collarbone nice and open here. Take a deep breath. 
And then if you'd like to, feel free to curl the toes and take the knees off of the ground. So this is an option if you'd like to take straight leg instead of knees bent. If this is where you're going, press the heels back and squeeze the inner thighs together. Allow the legs to really wake up here. Nice long line from the tail all the way to the crown of the head. Another deep breath. And then we'll lower the knees, ease back, child's pose. This time take the hands around the heels. Bow the head all the way down, allow it to rest on the floor or your prop. Notice the curve in your back here. Notice the space between your vertebra. Allow it to get bigger. Feel the stretch around the spine. Deep breath in. And then slowly go ahead and draw your arms forward once again and lift the hips up. Now they're going to be over the knees. Walk the arms forward and let the heart melt. So you're going to lean down, let the heart melt all the way down. It's very similar to child's pose, but the hips are going to be directly over the knees. The hips are over the knees, as opposed to the hips going back to the heels. Arms are going to stretch forward. Make this as big or as small as you wish. Notice where the body wants to soften, and notice any resistance, especially in the shoulders. The forehead can certainly be off of the ground. If it goes to the ground, allow it to relax. Here you can feel the tailbone lifting up and your thigh bones pressing back. Feel the openness in the glutes. You can always bring your elbows down to the ground as well if this is too much on your shoulders. Listen to your body, get a sense of what you need and what it means. Take another breath. Slowly start to press into the hands, lift the head up, walk the hands underneath your shoulders. Go ahead and just move the shoulders forward and back. A few shrugs. And then we're going to curl the toes and then lift up, downward dog. We're gonna press back about a quarter of the way, roll through the spine and then straighten the legs. Lift up, press back all the way. Allow your head to come between the biceps, the upper arms. Give your head a shake, yes and no. Deep breath in, deep breath out with a sigh, let it go. Just notice what you're feeling here. Where is any tension? If you have any, you may not have a, a, an ounce of tension. <laughs> so if you do find some tension, just notice where it is. Try to breathe into it. We're not going to ignore it and be really present to it so we can bring a softening to the body. <clears throat> and then go ahead and do what you need to do, bicycling the legs, finding some movement through the hips, keeping the fingers spread, and feeling the strength throughout your wrists and your arms. So not collapsing into the hands, but rather it's as if you're pushing the hands into the floor and then you're feeling that rebound. The energy moves right back up into the palms and the arms. Go ahead and inhale, lift your heels up, 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 and then exhale, heels go down. Two more, inhale, lift the heels up, and exhale, they go down. Feel the stretch in the toes. Inhale, lift up, and exhale, heels go down. There you are, settle in, look between your thumbs, shift your weight forward, finding your plank, lower the knees. Okay, roll the shoulders back a bit, engage the belly, core strong. Elbows bend, lower down, modify chaturanga, lower, elbows hug the ribs and hover, hover, hover. Then let the chest come down, lengthen through the feet, so press your toenails to the floor, and inhale, cobra, baby cobra. Stay here, three breaths, please. 
So no hurry to get out of this. Just find the lifting of the chest. Feel the shoulders slide back. Openness through the collarbone. One more breath. Exhale, lower the head down, curl the toes, lift up, roll through the spine, press back, and shake your head out, downward dog. Deep breath here. Finding where your body is stretching, where it might be holding on to tension. All right, you guys, soften through your knees, look between your thumbs, and please step forward. Both feet come up. Go ahead and press into the shins, lengthen the spine, get really long throughout the spine, and then fold on your exhale. Two more breaths, full awareness. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold. Stay here, please. Notice your feet. Take a look at them. You're going to press down into the big toe mound, the little toe mound, the inner heel, and the outer heel. Notice when you press into those four points, what that does to your stabilization. So we're grounding through the feet. Notice what muscles just became engaged, maybe through the the side of the leg, the back of the leg, even moving up into the hamstrings, the glutes. Now keep your feet anchored and take your fingers to your shins or the floor and now halfway lift, lengthen out. Exhale and fold, drop. Two more, lengthen, use your breath and fold, let it go. One more, inhale, halfway lifting. And exhale, fold, drop in. There you go. Let's bring the hands to the hips. Bend the knees lightly. Keep pressing into the feet, inhale, rise. Come on up, roll through the shoulders. Let's press the thumbs into the back of the pelvis. And from here, feel the tailbone dropping, getting a little heavier and allow the navel to lift up through the chest. So bringing a bit of a back bend. Notice where the back bend is going. Is it in the middle of the back or the upper back? It's all good. Breathe in, feel the broadening of the chest here. Deep breath in, center heart. And just let that breath pour into the shoulders and the arms. Bring it in through the nose and out of the nose tonight if you can. Really clearing space. There you go, release the arms down into your legs. Pause here. And then with the next breath, we'll take the arms all the way up, big stretch, and sit back into chair, the katasana. So we'll draw all of the energy right into the center of our belly, all right? That space between the navel and the spine. You're letting your tailbone get heavy, all right? And sitting down as if there were a chair waiting for you. Stay anchored through the feet. Try to lift the, the navel up a bit. So you're gonna roll the belly button in and up. Feel the ribs lift and the heart spin up. Now feel the vibrancy in the arms. Really engage the arms. Set the shoulders back and spread the fingers wide. Look straight or look up if you'd like. Breathe in, another breath. And an exhale, fold, let the body find its drape. Relax the head, shake it out. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And an exhale, fold. Go ahead and bend the knees a little bit. And then with ease, well with strength and ease, so tap into that, the toning of the belly, draw the navel in. And then we're going to take the right leg back, finding plank, left leg goes back as well. So here, squeeze into the center. Option is to lower the knees. What do you need? All right? Be really present to that tonight. 
Super strong here, wherever you are. Lower down, chaturanga. The elbows hug the ribs. Bring your elbows and shoulders in a line, right? And then let the belly come down. Cobra, spread the toes, spread the fingers. Press them into the ground and lift the chest up. Find your vibrancy here. Two more deep breaths. And your exhale carries you down. Curl the toes, press yourself up, and roll back, downward dog. There you go. Feel the tailbone lift, thigh bones press back. Starting to warm up the body, finding some space around the joints. Soften through your knees a little bit, you guys. Feel the strength through your legs. And then straighten the legs. Heels get heavy. Right leg comes up behind you. Go ahead and flex your foot. And as that right leg comes up, see if you can get a little heaviness in that left heel, a little bit more heaviness. Take a really deep breath. Then we're going to go ahead and bend the right knee. Bring it into your right elbow. And then take the leg straight back. Two more times. Go ahead, exhale, knee comes in toward the elbow, and then press back. One more, knee comes into the elbow, press it all the way back. And this time, we're going to bring the knee to the elbow and place your foot to the outside of your right hand. So the foot's gonna come up alongside the pinky finger. All right, help it out along the way. Take your hand and scoot your leg forward. Now we're going to go ahead and lower the back knee. So your left knee comes to the ground. If you prefer to keep the left leg lifted, go right ahead. I'm going to keep it down for now. My hips are pretty tight. <laughs> I'm sitting a lot today. All right, we're going to take this right knee, draw it out to the side just a little bit. It should never hurt. If anything hurts, back up and rethink what you're doing. Okay, you can even come to the outer edge of that pinky toe. And then we can walk our hands over to the left side of the mat, let the elbows bend, and lean forward with the heart and just get a little bit lower if your body welcomes that. You may find you wanna stay more upright. So just check it out. Two deep breaths here. It's really common for the breath to get stuck. So just watch it. If it does get stuck, notice it. Reset yourself. Soften the breath. No forcing, just let it move through you. Go ahead, inhale. We're gonna walk the hands right back to center. You're gonna lift the back knee up and with ease, Let's take this right foot off the ground and send it back to downward dog. So the right foot lifts up and presses back. Sometimes that's easier said than done. <laughs> but the more we practice, the more space comes, the strength comes. And we see how that affects our movement. Let's go ahead and take that left leg up behind us. Go ahead and square the hips. Bring heaviness to the right heel. Nice deep breath here. So we're automatically making the core work a little harder by lifting the leg up. Slow, steady breathing. Calm the mind. And when you're ready, the left knee bends and we can draw the left knee just to kiss the left elbow and then press back. Two more. Exhale, knee to elbow and press back. One more, knee to elbow, press back. Okay, this time your foot is going to come up and to the outside of your left hand. So big exhale, hollow out the belly and place your foot, scooch it up to the outside of that left hand. Notice how this side feels different than the other. If, if there is any difference. Okay, so just check in here. Do you wanna keep your back leg lifted or would you like to bring the knee down? 
Take a look at your left foot. You can walk it more to the left if that feels good. Or come to the pinky toe side. And just helping that hip open up a little bit. The left knee goes to the left side of the room. Breathe. And then we can start to walk your hands over toward the right. So they're at a diagonal. We can bend the elbows, sinking in here maybe, or staying more upright. Breathe in. So it's really key to bring the breath in as deeply as you can without forcing it. So we welcome it to come in and we watch it leave. Especially when we start to open the hips, we can find a little rigidity with the breath. And if that's the case, notice it. See what happens when you pay attention. One more breath. And then we'll start to walk the hands up, bring them back to the mat. Curl the, the right toes, take the right knee up. So we're gonna engage, engage your belly, feel the strength in your legs. And with your exhale, we're gonna lift that left foot up and swoop it back, downward dog. So it comes up and back. There you go. Nice deep breath here. Well done, everyone. Let's go ahead and bring the knees to the ground, big toes together. Child's pose. And this time you can stack your fists if you'd like and rest your forehead on the fists. If not, keep your arms straight and bring your head to the ground. This just will give your shoulders a, a little relief here. So I want you to feel the whole spine from the tailbone all the way through your neck. All right, notice the rounded formation that the spine takes. Okay, and when you breathe in, breathe in from the tailbone all the way up and into the neck. So energizing that whole back body. One more breath. There you go. Now we can go ahead and take the arms forward. Shift your weight forward, curl the toes, down dog, once again. You can bring the feet together. You've got about six inches between them, if that. And we can take that right leg up. Let's open the hip. We're gonna take the right foot over toward the left. And as you do that, it can be a lot of movement with this right shoulder. So we're gonna to try to keep the right shoulder kind of plugged in. We wanna keep it in line with your left shoulder. So we're just trying to get an open space in the hip while the shoulder stays rooted and anchored. And then go ahead and take your breath, send that right leg behind you, pointing the toes. And as you exhale, knee comes into the nose and place your foot right between your thumbs. Again, scooch it up if you need to. So we're gonna stay here in a low lunge, frame your front foot. We can keep your left hand now to the floor or a brick or a book and take your right hand behind you, press into the sacrum, the low back, and then spin the heart up. So you're gonna to turn toward your right. And if you have the freedom in the shoulder to lift the arm up, go right ahead. Big breath here. Your back knee can always go down to the ground. But try to hug the muscle around your leg bones. Really squeeze in, feeling that muscular energy. And then vibrancy through the fingers. Another breath. Come back around and frame your foot. Stay strong, lower the back knee if it's not already. Inhale, swoop the arms all the way up. Big lift, slide the shoulders down. Come into goal post arms, bend the elbows, spin the heart up. Arms come all the way up, breathe. And then float the hands down, frame your foot. Take a breath, lift your back knee up. 
and slide your right foot back, downward dog. There you go, come into stillness. Left leg comes up behind you. Lift it as high as you can. Keep that left shoulder in place. Bend your left knee and take your foot over to the right. Feel heaviness in the right heel. Breathe full. Feel firm under your hands, strong in the shoulders. There you go, straighten your leg behind you. Lift it as high as you can, point the toes. And exhale, knee to nose, place your foot right between your thumbs. Anchor it. So you're gonna low lunge. Stay steady here. So we can just hang out here. So instead of hanging out, let's engage the muscles. So I want you to feel the base of your pelvic floor, lift up a bit, and then squeeze, engage the muscles around your leg bones. Press your back heel toward the floor. We're gonna keep the right hand on the ground or your prop, and your left knuckles to the low back, turn into, to your left. So you're gonna twist the body. Now draw your belly button in, spin the heart up, and if you do have freedom in the shoulder, the left arm comes up. Breathe. So really big here, moving the energy. Another deep breath, vibrant in the fingers, super strong. <clears throat> and exhale, fold over your front leg a bit, bend the back knee, let it rest, anchor yourself, and inhale, come all the way up. Arms big, slide the shoulders down, you can bend the elbows. Take a breath. And exhale, fold, frame your foot, down dog. Step it back, settle in. Deep breath, you guys. Exhale with a sigh. Go ahead and shake your head out. Hmm. Well done. Let's go ahead and take that body forward into a um, plank, all right? So notice when you come into plank, do you roll through the spine or do you just shoot there? <laughs> so let's just practice rolling through the spine. Go back in the dog, roll through the spine to get there. Lift up and press back. Now let's roll through the spine and come into plank. Two more, roll back and up. Roll forward, roll back and up, and roll forward. All right, knees can come down, chaturanga, lower down, elbows in line with those shoulders. Then let everything rest, cobra or up dog, up dog, toes down, hands press into the ground, legs lift. This is too much on your back, stay at cobra. Another breath, spread the toes. And lower all the way down. Lift up and back, child's pose. Press back. Deep breath, middle of the back. Look between your thumbs, curl the toes. Downward dog, up. And back. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, swoop your foot right between your thumbs. Anchor. Come all the way up, you guys. Warrior two. Spin on your back foot. And the arms are going to windmill open, bending the front knee. All right, and we're going to press into that left foot firmly. So just get a sense of now being upright. Arms open out, shoulders over the hips. Let's turn the palms so they face up, and then turn the palms so they face down. Inhale, arms up, front leg straightens. Exhale, front knee bends, arms extend out. One more time, just like that. Inhale, lift, and exhale, the knee bends. 
Good. Inhale, come all the way up, connect your palms, draw the thumbs to the heart. Keep your legs where they are, and then extend the arms out. Front leg is straight. Moving into triangle pose, trikonasana. So find an extension with the fingers, root through your feet, and bring your hand down to the shin, the brick, or the floor. I'm going to bring my left hand and my low back to turn the trunk. I want to find the twist first. Let my body get into this. And then if you would like, you can always take your left arm up. So here, paying attention to the top hip, rolling back. Feel the spiral. Feel how the muscles and the body work together. So the muscles, the bones, everything's alive here. Find your space. Two more deep breaths. Notice any tightness, any resistance. And inhale, come all the way up, bringing your hands to your hips. Well done. Let's go ahead and turn the feet to the left so you're in a straddle. Hands are on the hips. If the feet tend to slide around, we set them. And then we're just gonna take a little bit of a heart opener here, press the thumbs into the low back, spin the heart up. And then stand tall. Now this time, feel free to take the arms behind you, interlace your fingers. We're gonna press the knuckles down. If your shoulders are tight, bend the elbows a little bit. If not, straighten the arms. We're leading with the heart here, center of the chest. As you lift the chest here, roll the shoulders back, and then lead forward, fold into it. Lifting the arms up toward the ceiling. Relaxing the head. Drawing the navel in and rolling up in toward the top of the belly. While you're here, Feel how the shoulders draw away from your ears, creating space in the neck. If your head is really close to the floor, you can always slide a brick or a prop under it. If the crown of the head is on the floor, that's fine as well. Be gentle. Notice the length of your spine. Taking a deep breath in, allowing it to move from the tailbone all the way through your neck. Create a little bit of traction under your feet. So energetically, we're going to push the feet into the ground and, and feel that energy then come in toward the middle of your mat. So it's like you're pressing down and dragging the feet in without even moving. Feeling the energy in the inner thighs. There you go. Another deep breath. And this time, rise up, pull away, and release the fingers. There you go. And we can take the hands to the hips. Notice your feet. I'm going to toe heel these guys in. And standing tall, rise up, lift up and take a fold, let it go. Shake your head out. Hold on to your elbows. Let the fingers dangle to the ground. And then roll through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Coming all the way up, root right through those feet. Shoulders come back, head is the last to lift and feel the space. All right, you guys, go ahead and take a step wide into the straddle again. And we're gonna take care of our other side. So let's go ahead now, 
And we're going in the other direction. So we'll go ahead and turn the right foot. And we're going to turn the left foot in. Warrior two. And open the arms. And soften here. So what I mean by softening, softening the shoulders down, full energy in the legs though. So with this front knee bent, you got about 90 degrees or wherever your, your body is right now is totally fine. Find where your work is. This back leg is straight. You're gonna turn the big toe in a bit, feel the strength through your ankle. And then that movement of energy comes right up into the legs. Strong torso. Draw up with the belly, and then the arms extend out, long fingers. Take a really deep breath here, you guys. We'll turn the hands to the palms face up. And then the palms can come down. Inhale, bring the arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, arms open out. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink. One more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink. Breathe it out. And go ahead and reverse it. Just reach up. back around, warrior two, settle in, and then straighten your front leg. Take the arms all the way up, and then open the arms. Triangle. Feel the extension of the fingers. The hand comes down. Spin the chest up. Find your space. Feel free to take that back arm up, find your stretch. Another deep breath. Keep it moving, keep the breath moving. Ground through your feet. And inhale, come all the way up. Bring the hands to the hips. Toes are facing front. Roll the shoulders back. This time, go ahead and bring your hands behind you and either hold on to the forearms or the elbows. Or if you practice with a reverse prayer, go right ahead. So what suits you the best? We're opening the heart, keeping it nice and open, spacious, let the breath move in. You can even repeat what we did earlier with the fingers interlaced and the knuckles pressing down and back. Your choice, lead with the heart, full release. Relax your body into this shape. Listen to the breath move through your body. Get a sense of how it feels, quieting the mind. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Connect to the feet. Feel the energy underneath the feet, creating traction. As the breath softens, notice how your body's drape changes. Notice how the fold in your body changes up a bit. Releasing some resistance. Take another breath. Slowly start to bring the body up and continue to come all the way up, shoulders back. Release your arms, release your fingers and rest the hands to the hips. 
Then go ahead and toe heel the feet in. And make your way to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Inhale, both arms up. Stretch them really tall. Reach the fingers up to the sky. Draw the shoulders down your back. We'll connect the palms, thumbs to the heart. And from here, find your tree pose. Right foot comes up, place it below or above your knee. If you're feeling really, really wobbly, you can always lower your foot so the toes touch the ground and work from there. Feel free to open the arms all the way up, creating space. Breathing in, feel the breath move from your tailbone all the way up through your neck, exhaling and releasing the breath from your neck down to your tail. Another breath. And connect the palms, draw the thumbs to the heart, lower your right foot down, bow in, pause. Left foot floats up, below or above the knee. Inhale, arms can float. Feel free to bring them into goal post arms, like a cactus even, drawing the elbows back. Allowing the breath to just breathe it all in, all that is. Engage your glutes a little bit, feel the belly tone, energy moving up through the chest into the arms. Connect the palms, lower the left foot, bow in. Just pause a moment. Deep breath. Inhale, lift the arms all the way up, lift up, and fold. Let it go. Just shake your head lightly, yes and no. Try to keep your eyes open here. Look at your feet. We're gonna just bend the knees. And then you can take your left foot behind your right foot, knees bend more and have a seat. So we're gonna scooch back, extend the legs forward. All right, and here we're gonna come into a forward fold. We're gonna be dropping into more of the, the restorative aspect of this, more, um, more of the, the yin. We're gonna drop in nice and heavy. So you can always slide a pillow underneath your knees. We're gonna let the muscles kind of relax a little bit here, not work so hard. If you're okay with straightening the legs, go right ahead. We're gonna release the hold in the feet. All right, so just shake these guys out. Take a breath and wiggle through the arms. And then just find your fold, find your drape. You can rest your hands on your legs, on the floor. You can hold on to your feet if you're going there. Just wanna be in a place where you can be still in the mind. Watching the breath move in a fluid manner, like water. Listen to the sound of your breath and the feeling of vibration as it moves through you. Allowing everything to soften. Notice what your body can start to let go of here. Now 
and inhale. Bring your hands to the side of your legs and roll through the spine coming up. You can take your head and look to the left and then look to the right. And then bring it back to center, gentle chin to chest. And then lift the head up again. All right, from here, let's go ahead and come into a butterfly. So to bring the soles of the feet together, and you can hold on to your ankles. Feel free to also um, place your bricks on the floor just in between your legs if you would like to eventually rest your forehead on them. You don't need to do this, it's an option. And then find the fold wherever you are. So the bricks are there if your neck and head need more support. If you find you're getting a little bit more flexible as you breathe, you can lose a prop. You want to slide your bricks underneath the outer thighs as well, just to help relax the muscles and the legs. So take a moment, allow the body to let go a little bit here. Letting go doesn't mean we have to, you know, say goodbye to everything that is leaving the body. We can just maybe change the energy around it. Slow quiet breaths into the body. Feeling the ground beneath you, fully supporting your bones. Allowing any heaviness to drop right into the ground. And then we'll inhale and slowly come back up again. If you have those bricks under your legs, you can take those to the side. We're going to come down to the ground on your backs, please. And while we're here, just go ahead and hug the um, right knee into the chest. You can straighten your left leg. You can also keep the knee bent if you prefer. It's your choice. It's what feels better for you. So deep breath in, let it out with a sigh. Feel free to hold on to the bottom of your right foot or come into half happy baby. Piece fingers around the big toe. You can take that knee out to the side. Left hand can go on the top of the left hip. Just getting some space in the hamstring. Notice any resistance, find a place where you can be quiet. Another breath. And then we'll slowly bend that right knee a bit more. This time, hold on to the hamstring, the back of the upper thigh, hug the knee in and then straighten that right leg to the ground. Notice how that right leg feels right now. Right? When you're ready, we can take the left knee in. Just give it a squeeze. You can stay here or bring the foot up. You can hold on to the bottom of the foot or take your peace fingers around the big toe and draw the knee out to the left of it. You can always bend that right knee as well. Breathe in, feel the heaviness into the belly. Feel the belly drop toward the spine and the shoulders start to settle. Now 
another breath. We'll just bend the knee, hug it in. This time, hold on to the back of the upper thigh. Give yourself a squeeze. And straighten the left leg to the ground. Just tap the upper thigh, like the hip flexor area. All those muscles, just kind of give them a tap. Bend the knees. Put your feet on the floor. They're about inner hip width apart and just windshield wipe them side to side. Feeling the shoulders grounding you, really rooted in. And then just let the knees rest over onto the left side here for a moment. They can be stacked or separated. If the knees are apart, you can always slide that right foot further away to get more sensation into the front right hip. The arms can go out like a T or even overhead. Feel the space under the ribs. Quiet mind, relaxed body. Bring the arms up and over to the belly, knees come up to center and then float them to the right. They can be overlapping or apart, your choice. Set the shoulders and find a place for your arms that feels good to you. Settle in, let the shoulders get heavy. The belly drops. Start relaxing the muscles around your face. Relaxing the jaw. Deep breath. Let it go. We'll bring the arms up, hands to the belly, knees come up. And then if you would, go ahead and straighten the legs to the ground. We'll come into our Shavasana, final pose, just allowing the body to settle in, absorb all the energy from the practice. Your arms can go out to the side. If you have a blanket that you would like to put over your belly or over you, you go right ahead, pillows under your knees. Take care of yourself. Palms can face up. Ankles and toes roll out to the side. Bring a softening to the eyes, the jaw, the neck, and the shoulders. Now in the arms to settle a little deeper into the ground, relaxing through the fingertips. Get the belly expand in all directions with the breath. Dropping in a little closer to the spine. Feeling the weight of your leg bones getting heavier. Dropping in. Relaxing through the ankles and the toes. Settling into your energy, feeling a balance. Welcoming the flow of breath. Feel free to stay here as long as you would like. If you're ready to end your practice, gently roll over onto your right side, support yourself with your right arm. Take a breath while you're there. And then gently press yourself up, your hand and your arm into seated. You can bring palms together and the thumbs to the heart. Take a moment and bow in. 
Namaste, everyone. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening and um, I wish you well. And as always, I hope this practice has brought you some space and some room to, to breathe more fully. And um, I hope you have a good night's sleep. Take care and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.